Hello everyone, welcome to National Car Academy. So in this session, we are going to discuss the topic is Marathas. It covers the government examinations like TNPSC, SSC, UPSC, TET, or RRB, etc. So now, let's move into the topic. Introduction. Point number one. The rising power of the Marathas in the southwest posed the real danger to the Mughal Empire. Point number two. Shahji Bonsal, Shivaji's father, an officer of the Admet Nagar state and later Bijapur, proved to be a thorn in the flesh of the Mughals even in Shah Jahan's period. Point number three. But Shivaji was the son of Shahji Bonsal who attained glory among the Marathas as he could stop the Mughal Empire's expansion in the Deccan. The Mughals was frightened. Point number four. Shivaji was a gallant fighter, army general, and a guerrilla leader. Point 5. Shivaji built up a band of brave mountaineers who were loyal to him. Point 6. With mountaineers' help, he captured many forts and gave Aurangzeb's commanders a tough time. Point 7. As Marathas grew stronger, the Mughal Empire weakened. The Mughal Emperor had to recognize the right of the Marathas to collect their chowth tax all over the Deccan. Point 8. Warfare opened opportunities for talented commanders who contributed to the vigorous expansion of Maratha power early in the 18th century. Point 9. The Prime Minister of Maratha rulers called the Peshwas from the time of Shahu held real power. Under the aegis of Maratha power, the Peshwas continued their supremacy until 1761. Factors responsible for the rise of Marathas Geographical features Point 10. The physical features of the Maratha country developed certain peculiar qualities among the Marathas, which distinguished them from the rest of the people of India. Point 11. During the 16th century, the Sultans of Bijapur and Ahmednagar had recreated them to serve in cavalry. Point 12. Their presence was helpful to the Sultans in balancing the political ambitions of the Muslim soldiers in their service. Point 13. The rocky and mountainous terrain gave protection to the Marathas from invaders. It proved to be advantages in guerrilla warfare for Marathas. Bhakti Movement and the Marathas Point 14. The spread of the Bhakti Movement in Maharashtra helped the Maratha people develop consciousness of their identity and oneness. It promoted a feeling of unity, especially in terms of social equality among the Marathas. Point 15. In the Maratha region, the religious leaders were drawn from different social groups. Point 16. Eknath, Tukaram and Ramdas were the noted Bhakti saints. Point 17. Tukaram and Ramdas had considerable influence on the life of Shivaji. Literature and language of the Marathas. Point 18. Marathi language and literature also served to develop unity among the people. Point 19. Hymns composed in the Marathi language by Bhakti saints was sung by people of all castes and classes. Shivaji. Point 20. Shivaji, born in 1627, grew up under the care of his mother, Jijabai. Point 21. Jijabai who influenced Shivaji with stories from the Hindu epics Ramayana and Mahabharata. Point 22. Shivaji's teacher and guardian, Dadaji Kondadev, trained him in the art of horse riding, warfare and state administration. Point 23. Shivaji, at the age of 18 in 1645, when he had just entered the military career, he successfully captured Kondana, a fort near Pune. Point 24. The following year, Shivaji took the fort of Torna. Then he succeeded in conquering Raigar, which was rebelled by him. The next heading is Shivaji's confrontation with Sultan of Bijapur. Point 25. Shivaji became totally independent 
after the death of his guardian Kondadev during the period of 1649.26. Shivaji also got his father's jacket transferred to him, which was early looked after by Kondadev. Point 27. The strength of Shivaji's army was Mavali foot soldiers. With their help, Shivaji conquered many of the hill forts near Pune. Point 28. Shivaji captured Purantar from the Mughals. Point 29. Shivaji military rights angered the Sultan of Bijapur. He held Shivaji's father captive and released him only after Shivaji promised to suspend his military rights. Point 30. Shivaji kept his word and remained at peace with Bijapur from then on till his father's Shagi's death. During this period, he toned up his administration. Consolidation of Maratha Power Point 31. Shivaji resumed his rights after his father's death and conquered Javali during the period of 1656 from the Maratha chief Chandra Rao Moore. Point 32. Shivaji also reduced all the lesser Maratha chiefs around Pune to subordination. Point 33. The soldiers of Bijapur from the hill fortresses acquired by Sultan of Bijapur were driven out and replaced with his own commanders. Point 34. Shivaji's moves and the defeat of Bijapur army sent to punish Shivaji alarmed the Mughal officials. When the Mughals made a punitive expedition, Shivaji boldly confronted them. Point 35. In 1659, Shivaji killed Abzal Khan, a notable general of Bijapur. Point 36. In 1663, Shivaji wounded and chased away the Mughal general and Aurangasab's uncle, Chaista Khan. Point 37. To cap these bold acts, Shivaji audaciously directed his soldiers to plunder Surat during the period of 1664, the major Mughal port on the Arabian Sea. Shivaji and Aurangasab. Point 38. After Shivaji plundered Surat, Aurangasab swung into action. Point 39. An army under the command of a Rajput general, Raja Jai Singh, was ordered to destroy Shivaji and annex Bijapur. Point 40. Shivaji finally served peace, yielded the fortresses he had seized and accepted service as a man in the Mughal service for the conquest of Bijapur. Point 41. Shivaji also agreed to visit the imperial court at Agra on the advice of Jai Singh only to suffer humiliation which led him to escape by hiding in a basket. Point 42. Aurangasap was determined to stop the Maratha interference in his expedition against the Deccan kingdoms. Point 43. Aurangasap attempted to patch up with Shivaji, but those efforts failed. Point number 44. In 1670, the Mughal army was helpless when Shivaji again plundered Surat. Point 45. In 1674, Shivaji crowned himself by assuming the title of Chhatrapati. Point 46. The coronation of Shivaji was celebrated with a great splendor at Raigar. Point 47. Shivaji's aged mother, Jijabai, who had lived to see her son crowned the king, passed away a few days after the coronation with her life fish. Fulfilled. Point 48. Shivaji spent his last years trying to bring his son Shambhuji into his face. Point number 49. Shivaji fell ill with fever and dysentery and died in 1680. Chatra, parasol, pati, master of lord, is the Sanskrit equivalent of king or emperor and was used by the Marathas, especially Shivaji. Maratha administration under Shivaji. 50. Point number. Shivaji's political system consisted of three circles. At the center was the Swaraj. Point 51. Shivaji was caring and would not allow the people to be harassed in any way. Point number 52. In the second circle, Shivaji claimed suzerainty, but he didn't administer them himself. 
पॉइंट फिफ्टी थ्री शिवाजी प्रोटेक्टेड द पीपल फ्रॉम लूट एंड प्लैंडर फॉर विच दे वर रिक्वर टू पे चौथ वन फोर्थ ऑफ द रेवेन्यू एज प्रोटेक्शन मनी एंड सार देशमुखी एंड एक्स्ट्रा वन टेंथ एज द चीफ टेंस ड्यू पॉइंट फिफ्टी फोर इन दी थर्ड सर्कल शिवाजी वन ने एब्जेक्टिव वॉज प्लैंड पॉइंट फिफ्टी फाइव देशमुख हेल्ड स्पे ओवर रूरल रीजन्स एंड देर कंट्रोल वॉज ओवर बिटवीन ट्वेंटी एंड हंड्रेड विलेज पॉइंट फिफ्टी सिक्स ईच विलेज हैड अ पावरफुल हेडमैन पटेल हु वॉज असिस्टेड बाई अ विलेज अकाउंटेंट ऑफ कीपर ऑफ रेकॉर्ड्स कुलकर्णी पॉइंट नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन In the absence of a strong central government, these local community level officials functioned as the true government. Army. Point fifty eight. Shivaji gave at most attention to his army and training of its personnel. Point fifty nine. In the beginning, the backbone of Shivaji's army was the infantry. Point sixty. But as Shivaji's campaigns extended into the plains, his cavalry grew in size and importance. Point sixty one. Every soldier was selected personally by Shivaji and was taken into service on the assurance of a soldier already in service. Point sixty two. Shivaji took great care in maintenance and security of his forts. Retired captains holding a high reputation were put in charge of guarding. The forts. Ashtapradhan. Point sixty three. Shivaji designated eight ministers as the Ashtapradhan, each holding an important portfolio. Point sixty four. Peshwa was the equivalent of a modern prime minister in the Maratha Empire. Originally, they were subordinates to the Chhatrapati. Point sixty five. But in course of time, especially from the time of Shah Maharaja, Peshwa became the de facto Maratha ruler, while the Chhatrapati was reduced to the position.